Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we are going to tell you how to install Android 5.0 Lollipop update for your Eureka. Now this is the official Cyanogen OS 12 OTA update that we have downloaded and manually installed on the device. We are going to tell you how to do that. Now your warranty won't be void, you will receive future updates from Cyanogen by installing this OTA update. Now this is the CM12 update over the air which is being rolled out right now in India. So if you haven't got the update, it's very simple to install it on your device. Now the little time that I've spent with the OTA update for the Eureka, it actually performs quite well. There's a bit of stutter here and there, but it deserves an in-depth look. So what you need to do, here are the instructions. You need to download the OTA update file, which is about 650 MB. You will have the link in the description as well as on phonebunch.com. There's a step-by-step -step procedure available there as well. So once you have downloaded that file, you need to save it to your SD card or internal storage. There you see the file right there, CM12S and the build number. So once you are done with that, power off your device. Then you need to press both the volume rockers up and down together as well as the power button. Your phone will vibrate and start booting up. So leave all of the three buttons together and you will enter Cyanogen OS recovery. Once there, you can use the volume rocker to move up and down and you can press the power button to select. Select apply update, then select choose from internal storage or choose from SD card wherever you have placed the update file. Once there, select zero slash if you are on the internal storage, select the file, press the power button. I won't do that since I've already done that once and the phone will start installing the update. You will see the Android logo. After the installation is complete, you will come back to the recovery screen again. Just move into wipe cache partition, press power button to select. It will take some time to clear the cache. And once that is done, you will again enter this mode and just press reboot system now. The phone will reboot. It will again take quite a long while depending on how many apps you have installed and you'll boot into Cyanogen OS 12 based on Android 5.0 Lollipop. So you can see right here, we have booted again. Now overall performance was pretty smooth. There is a bit of lag sometimes. Then you can change the battery power mode to performance. Now you can see the new material design makeover. Here is your notification shade. All your settings right here as well. Now with the new update, apps are movable to the SD card. You can see it right here. We'll check if app data is also movable. Now you can see right there, I have put in USB OTG storage and it has been detected. So USB OTG is still supported on the device. I'll play a 1080p video for you and video playback is slightly stuttery over here. So we'll definitely check out how this phone performs in our in-depth review again. Now I ran some benchmarks, we got 17.229 on Quadrant and 28.835 on Antutu. Now these are quite a bit lower than with Android KitKat. Now with Android Lollipop, you also have the option of user profiles. You have priority interruptions mode available right here as well. Well folks, that was our quick tutorial on how to get the official OTA update installed on your Eureka with Android Lollipop Cyanogen OS 12. If you have any questions with us in the comment section, do hit that subscribe and like button. For detailed instructions, just head to the link in description. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.